I've long been intrigued by the particular tone of a call made by the Australian magpie, um, Jim Marina Tibetans. It's a very pleasant tone, but it's quite hard to describe. Um, it's this tone here. Um, it's got a strange sort of a vibrato to it, which is quite hard to describe. So um, we have a, a, a juvenile magpie who is um, very vocal, who's living in our backyard at the moment. So I recorded a bit of his call. That's what this is. And um, I thought I'd put it into um, Audacity and have a look at the waveform and just see if I could figure out something about how it's made. So. Um, if you zoom in a bit, what you can see is that there's this um, relatively constant um, higher pitch tone. That's what all of these numerous spikes are. It's about a thousand hertz tone. Um, but what also stands out is that it's got what I suppose you would call a tremolo to it. Um, so that you can see that it's getting softer and louder and softer and louder. Um, it's if you if you count it, it's it's at about an 80 or 90 hertz tremolo through it. And when I first um, saw that, I thought, well, that's going to be what's calling the um, or causing sorry causing the uh, interesting tone. Um, so I uh, used Audacity to create or to recreate that tone by having a, um, a roughly thousand hertz tone and then adding a, an 80 or 90 hertz um, tremolo to it. But it really didn't sound anything like um, that very special tone that um, magpies seem to generate. So um, I was a bit puzzled by that. But then I, if you zoom in, what I noticed is that if you look at the um, waveform very carefully, I'm just trying to find a good example of it, um, reasonably regularly there is an additional little um, aspect to the sound so that these spikes instead of being um, relatively rounded um, sine waves um, have this little additional little blip to them here and here and here and here it's not regular but um, it's throughout and I wondered if that might be something to do with it that little additional um, tone so um, I tried adding that to my um, fake magpie call, which is this uh, lower screen here, and uh, just I just added these additional little these additional little wiggles into the peak of each sine wave, and then wave, and then repeated that throughout. And lo and behold, what you get is something that does actually sound somewhat. Um, like a magpie, not entirely, it still has that sort of bad 80s Game Boy very artificial tone to it, but um, without, to my ear at least, it does have a, uh, a certain similarity uh, to the magpie tone. So if I just play them through, this is the actual magpie, and if instead I play my artificial magpie, this is what I get which I agree is uh, nowhere near as pleasant as the real thing, but it does have that certain tone to it. So it seems to be the case that it actually is um, these little wiggles that you can see in the uh, waveform that give it its very distinctive sound. So there you go, there's my little attempt at ornithological acoustics.